So following a fiery situation in Blaisdell, these are just some of the reported pictures that are coming into our newsroom tonight. Rachel Kingston just got back from the scene and she joins us now with the latest. Rachel. It was a very smoky fire and one that firefighters actually had to withdraw from early on because the flames were so intense. It took several hours to put out completely and the cause is still being investigated. Witnesses said the bright orange flames could be seen from blocks away, leaping towards the sky when this apartment building in Blaisdell caught fire Friday evening. I pulled into CVS, I looked over, and all I saw was orange and flames coming above Forster's. When we got here, the flames were coming out the side window here, and it was rolling up to the top floors there. So it was going pretty good when we got here. The fire is believed to have started on one of the lower floors. It left a charred, cavernous hole in the back of the house. Nearly a dozen volunteer fire companies either came to the scene or were on standby, including Blaisdell, Hamburg, Orchard Park, Lakeview, Lake Shore, Newton Abbott, Scranton, and Big Tree. While the cause of this fire remains under investigation, sources say careless smoking may be to blame. Firefighters initially had some trouble finding the source of the flames. The building's all sectioned off. There's only two ways in. So we only had one entry. It's kind of hard to get in the front and the back. Two people who were home at the time the fire started made it outside safely. Neighbors guessed there were a total of four or five apartments in the house. That's what I was told that there was multiple families that live in there. So it makes me really sad to know that it's Christmas time and now their house just burned. Now, the Red Cross tells us it is assisting three people affected by, by the fire. Neither they nor any of the firefighters were hurt. Rachel Kingston, News 4 at 10.